EA have gone on and done a madness. We had Dua Lipa in FIFA earlier this week. David Beckham has been announced as a new icon. He's now in FIFA. We did a video on him in career mode. Today, we legitimately have F1 drivers in FIFA. This episode is going to be the GOAT Lewis Hamilton against Daniel Ricciardo. We're going to be having them face off against each other in FIFA 21 career mode. So if you guys may be wondering, like you're, you're new around here, why are these F1 drivers being added into the game? Well, let me explain it to you. EA are going on and adding celebrities and other famous athletes into the Volta game mode. Now, these guys are not in Volta as of yet, and I, I should say girls as well, because we have Dua Lipa and a few other women players they are going to be added into Volta. They're not in yet, but their player faces are in the game, so we have the ability to now take them in and put them into career mode. So let's get into it, a new manager career mode. Leave a like if you guys are excited for today's episode. The next few episodes, we are going to have NFL players in FIFA 21. We're going to have NBA players in FIFA 21, and I think there's a bunch of other celebrities that we're going to have it in the future, so this episode and episode in the future are going to be so so sick with these celebrities being added so you guys are going to make sure you uh, want to subscribe to the channel because so much dope content is coming so both of our f1 drivers have been added to the game we'll show you them in a second but this is a 1v1 face off and we have to choose which player we are going to be siding with do we go with arsenal which is going to be the club that lewis hamilton has been added to as an arsenal fan he has been put on this team and i've done my research the aussie daniel ricardo is a manchester united fan of all clubs so it's united against arsenal in this episode and i have to figure out which player we're going with right so i feel like this is going to be a bit of an easy one now i myself am not a massive f1 fan i don't i not at all i don't watch f1 i don't really know too much about it but one thing i do know is that lewis hamilton is the absolute goat so we're going with him we're choosing arsenal and we're siding with the hamilton for this 1v1 showdown all right our journey with arsenal is ready and set to begin will we be able to take down ricardo with using lewis hamilton first off i feel like before we even get started we need to see the ratings and the positions these players are playing in so we're gonna start with our boy first hamilton he should be the highest rated player now on this team he's a 90 overall 35 years old there he is lewis hamilton welcome to arsenal 90 overall and i believe one stat should 100 percent be 99 overall and it is i mean how these guys are f1 drivers man these are some of the people who are going the fastest in the world so we got to give them 99 pace right 99 pace for lewis hamilton four star skill four star weak foot you can see 68 to 90 so basically what i've done these are not official ratings these are just ratings that i've given the player because technically they are in fifa but they're not in fifa as of yet so they don't have real ratings and they won't have real ratings because they're going to be in volta so they're going to get given volta ratings this is just the rating that i've given obviously if lewis hamilton was in fifa he would not be 90 overall i have no idea if he even knows how to play footy his transfer value was 160 million which you would think okay that's fine for someone 90 years old right or 90 overall but he is 35 years old 90 years old imagine someone at 90 years old being worth 160 mil no he's gonna slot in beautifully on this arsenal team no more lacazette i think we're actually gonna stick with the five at the back formation with this team i don't really want to change much lacazette to the bench Partsy will go in we'll throw pepe up there no not pepe at striker pepe at right wing oh man lewis hamilton jeez dude 75 shooting though that's not the greatest yes 75 shooting really other than that though it's the normal arsenal squad we're not gonna be able to sign any more players it's literally just arsenal with hamilton and then man united versus ricardo 1v1 whoever places higher in the prem is gonna win this episode right daniel ricardo let's go ahead and search him up let's make sure we can find him daniel ricardo 31 years of age what is his rating gonna be 89 okay so that makes sense he is a little bit lower because obviously hamilton in terms of f1 is just obviously the goat he's better let's go ahead and shortlist our boy again gotta have 99 pace 61 defending he's got 85 shooting so a little better a little bit better shooting again the stats are just it's interesting how they've been created and how we've done it but these are the stats that he's been given four star four star as well for him one thing i do want to try i'm not gonna do this but i want to see what it would actually cost for us to sign him. what would we have to pay to bring this dude in i'm gonna say oh we don't even oh, it, wait this is stupid we don't even have enough money <laughs> we have nowhere near enough money to bring him in offering everything that i have is just an insult to him at this point i forgot i had no financial takeover for that I was just that was just stupid to try oh you know what's gonna be oh it's gonna be rough 
Oh my god, I completely forgot to put Arsenal in the Champions League. So we won't even look at the Champions League in this episode. So United is in the Champions League. Are they? I thought they were. Yeah, United is. Oh my God. Why did I not put Arsenal in the Champions League? That could throw off some of our results. But I, again, we're just focusing. And I guess this competition, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and we're going to look at the goal differential as well between both players. And then at the end, we'll sort of make determination as to who sort of won this episode overall. Okay, so most of the games are going to be simmed. That's how we do these experiments on the channel. We let the computer control and decide who is going to win who's going to be the better, better player because obviously if we just controlled hamilton the whole season i'm not going to let ricardo beat us i'm, I'm going to win with hamilton right um with that being said when do we actually play hold on first two games of the year we play liverpool oh this isn't okay that's the oh that's a, a cup okay that's fine when do we when do we play united arsenal yeah do, how long do we have to wait for this my god we have to wait to December. Okay, well, I do want to actually see them face off. So let's go to this one. And this is going to be the first time we get to see both of them face off against each other in this episode. Right, Man United with the slim lead to start the season. Only 15 games in. We are about to get into this head-to-head -head matchup. Here's how things sit. It's fairly even. Arsenal is losing quite a few games. Three losses compared to United's two. It's very even. And it's very early. There's a lot of games left to be played. I'm, I'm not too worried at all. Oh, Hamilton shrinking to an 88 that's what happens when you are uh 35 years old i guess what about ricardo's at we're about to find out we're about to get into this one let's see it man man united against arsenal this is a big one and we need to pick up some points i wish we could see the rating of ricardo but we can't he's playing cam interesting all right boys let's get into it there it is the warm-up bro oh my god i love the hairstyle for uh hamilton i love it i absolutely love it and there we go did we get to see ricardo there we do this is so sick, man. I love these mods. This, is, this is makes the game so much better. I want you guys to make your predictions now. Put, first off, who do you think is going to win? Who is your guys' favorite F1 driver? Like, if I was to get in to watching F1, who do, like, you guys think I should be supporting in F1? Let me know in the comments. Is our manager in a full kit still? Is this... How is this not fixed? The managers are still wearing full kits. They're actually, the full kits for their teams... EA fix this game, bro. It's funny how we get these player faces for F1 drivers, for Dua Lipa, for everyone else, and there's still so many bugs and errors in career mode. It just doesn't make sense. All right, well, you know how this works? Feed our star player, and let's hopefully score some goals them and win this game. 75 shooting could be a bit of an issue. We get things started with Pepe. Oh my God, that was meant for Hamilton. What are we saying? Get it inside. Hamilton. All right, Pepe. Is he on? Please be onside. There's no reason to be offside there. Do we think Lewis can score with his head? It's a volley. Let's go, boys. 1-0. Oh, my God. Basically the first chance of the game. I had a few others before this. He's just too good. in the Arsenal attack, man. I don't, I, I don't know. I credit Pepe more with that goal, to be honest. All right, let's see what Ricardo can do. Cavani, actually. Okay, Ricardo was open in the middle, but Cavani takes the shot. Corner. Clear, easy. Hopefully, we, like, hopefully Ricardo doesn't even get to take a shot this game. That would be ideal. Rashford, nothing. Matic on it. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be very difficult. We're on world-class difficulty, and so far, I'm, I'm just dominating. Oh, my God, Pepe again. He's through. Boom, boom. Top of the box. I'm just going to feed him for no reason. Is he on? It's 2-0. Why is this so easy? Like, world-class is where I'm at. Like legendary, I, I can do legendary. I just, I don't like to, I, especially in experiments like this. I just like the banging goals, but yeah, this one might be over before it's even started. Here it is, Ricardo. Slide tackle. Oh my God. That was stupid. Was that actually a foul? I could have sworn I got all ball. I maybe should have just done a standing tackle there. Are they going to give this? Is that a red card? Okay, good, good. No card, no card. Stop, no card. Are they giving this to Ricard? They're giving it to Pogba. I would have preferred to see Ricardo take that. You know what? Let's see what Pogba can do. I'm not going to put anyone on the line. My hands are off the controller. Take it, Pogba, if you like. Okay. Maybe I should have put someone on the line. Okay, now they decide to turn up. And now we decide to have no one back on defense. I'm not letting Matic score. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. See what we can do. Pepe. Where's Hamilton? Why is Hamilton? Wait, where is he? There he is. Okay. Can we bang like a long shot with him? That was stupid. Nah, that was stupid. Oh, is that a goal? He's actually on side? 
I'm, 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 I'm literally letting Pogba just tear apart this team. What have I, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't, I don't trust myself defending. I don't. The Pogba free kick, fine. We conceded that. The last goal I just conceded was just, that's just stupid. No, not Pogba again. Stop. Stop, please. Okay, fine. I think. I think we're fine. Come on, three minutes of added time, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Cavani. Okay, give me a halftime, please. Right, we kept the Ricardo scoreless. I, You know, as much as I want to keep playing with Hamilton, I think we have to jump to the sim for that. I don't trust myself. I just don't trust myself in this one. We are getting destroyed in possession, man. Let's jump the sim and watch the rest of the game play out on this screen right here because I, I don't trust my gameplay so far maybe I should have just kept playing because we just we can't score should I jump in for these final minutes usually when I jump in for the final minutes something bad always happens I usually can see the late goal or something and here, here's what happens here's what happens are we gonna be able to do it that's just game okay GG whatever um it's fine one one draw it's not it's not the end of things that's just fine Arsenal actually in the Europa League but we've played our game we drew uh, we drew United but I wanted to say City there for some reason we need to get this seat look at this man we play United second to last game of the season in the Prem imagine that game comes down to like winner passes each other in the table that could actually do it let's just go boys this is it where we determine who is the GOAT F1 driver in FIFA 21 I, I didn't think I'd ever be saying that okay this is it let's Let's get a winner of the episode so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have different categories here premier league whichever team comes ahead fa cup whichever team comes ahead there carabao cup whatever team comes ahead there and then we're gonna do goals and assists for hamilton and ricardo five separate categories whichever like team takes that category wins so whoever wins the majority of the categories is gonna be concluded as the winner of the episode let's go so we start in the prem for whatever reason, I started at 19. Imagine one of the teams was 20. Leeds in 20th. Right. Here we go. Let's see who's going to get point number one and take the Prem. Here we go. Both teams should be top five. It's going to be United. It's Ricardo taking it. Man, United was, I think, just the better team to begin with in this career anyway. And that is one point for Ricardo in this. This is the FA Cup. I'm just going to assume most teams probably made it to at least round four. United beats Everton, Arsenal beats Blackpool, Arsenal beats Huddersfield, United beats Bristol. Oh no, United beats Arsenal in the FA Cup, and it's going to end up being Liverpool who wins, but that's two points for Ricardo, man. This could be rigged just simply because Ricardo got put on the better team. Caribbean Cup, let's see who takes this one. So, Arsenal loses the chop. So, technically, United made it further wait hold on didn't united make it first no they lost to leicester sorry sorry, sorry. lost to leicester so they both lost in the same round so i guess this one is a, a tie i guess the last few stats goal wise it is going to be given to is either on this list cavani is there Brad? you're telling me either both players are not on this list what about assists hamilton wins and assists so did i did i miss hamilton on this list who got more goals hamilton it, it genuinely is going to come down to goals hamilton only scores five goals bro are you kidding me um what he's dropped down to an 87 overall again that just has a lot to do with his age oh my god that's so bad oh my god ricardo with 10 so you guys be the judge i think ricardo is king and wins this episode the only thing i would say maybe a little bit unfair because both players were on obviously different teams united a little bit better in career mode than arsenal is hamilton's a little bit older so his rating was definitely a lot lower than uh than ricardo rating was to end the career mode right yeah see it's funny because ricardo actually ends still with an 89 because he was a little bit younger either way such a fun episode episode including these f1 drivers in fifa 21 career mode let me know what you guys want next should we do nfl or nba let me know we're gonna end up making it happen either way i appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for that next episode coming soon and we'll catch you guys later peace